Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, your TR Games. And what we have for you today is a well a bit of a tutorial actually on how to Well you may have seen in my episodes on my let's play of the tram lines in the, the cornfields. So I'm just gonna show you now how to do it for yourself. And we well you need well you can either use the there's some EE -E drive line there is it something like that I think it is the the mod or this 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 drill I'll show you after this video now what mod it actually is and then basically this drill has it built in so you you haven't got to add like the the drive line there to the back or anything like that you just just use this drill I think this this drill is um I think this one is nine meters maybe uh yeah, nine meters. So what I do for this one, I go with my. I do a belt round the head lens, stick a tram line in, another belt round, and I start my speeds then. And we, well, we'll have a look now. So they would be 20, what is it, 20, 27 meter tram lines, so apart. But I think the biggest, I think you've got to have a 28 meter sprayer and skirt spreader, so. It was, doesn't work out quite right, but it's very nice there. I think we'll, we'll make a start now. I'm going to do our first run. And I'll show you how to add the, the tram lines in. Oh, on this one, I'll do with this drill, because it's on only, well, it's nine metres. But if you had a nine metre sprayer, you could just use this, dr use this drill and put tram lines in every run. Right, you've done a very small map to be running nine metre tram lines, so we'll... I'll cut the corner here, just going to try get done a bit quicker. So we'll do what you want to do with this drill. You want to go around the headland once. Now once you've been around the headland once, then we'll put in our tram line. But you, you'll see in a minute. Once we've got around this first time, we'll, we'll put a tram line in. And you'll know that for yourselves. Like, sorry, I'm, I only use them when I try to play, play realistically. I usually don't use them on my normal maps but for our let's play they just well they just look good in the distance and it makes it well it makes it look a lot more realistic so yeah, i know i'm cutting the corners but that's because it's just this drill is so big I'm, i want to try keep my my tram lines tidier so we will we'll do well for this video i talk to you we won't bother tidying the corners but i usually tidy the corners afterwards and try to keep this corner a bit so it's on a bit of a, a bend there so we, as we can't have the final head belt on the first head then we will put a tram line in them and you'll see and I'll show you how to work it and put it in the middle and you'll have a well you've got a rough idea then and you yourselves to put your own in that's if you I just done this video just so you know I, I found this the other day so I thought yeah, may as well share it with you guys. Thank me. Right, so what I do is I reverse up to what well, you can see here behind us where you come into the. So you'd want to start the tram line to be at the gateway. So just go as straight as you can. And with this one, what you do, do like you press your left. Um. controller not the, the yeah the left trigger and then up on the d-pad to put a the markers out well as you see as you see then when i press the markers so much like when this one comes back in i'll drop them this down on the back and that's what will make your tram line so look here now we're gonna put see we're gonna put our first tram line in and I, i'd like to apologize if the audio just changed but my my orcs on my controller is a bit dodgy so the the headphones have got to be in a certain position so what a lot of people would do here is they would drive up like this so the sprayer comes all the way out then they would drive back so it gets right up into the corners like this so it's a bit of an X. But I'll show you what I just do on these headlands. You haven't got to be too precise to a, a simulator game. But that's what some people do. 
And we'll do this one now. I sh probably should have done it on this corner because of the how sharp the bend is. But what we, I just cut this corner a fair bit here. But I'm saying, uh, yeah, see, we missed a bit there. And it's a very sharp corner, so you probably want to do that on that headland. So we'll put this. As you see, they do look very well. And on a map like this, Fountain, we are using for this, this tutorial, it would work very well. And it'd look, well, if you were a British style player, it'd suit you to a T. So we'll, we'll, have a, we'll finish up this one now, and I'll show you how to... I wouldn't show you the whole field, but I'll just show you how to... What I do to start the, the middle runs. Because you don't want these family too close to each other, or you're going to be wasting chemical and fertilizer. And it'll look a bit silly. So we will... Then just up on the D-pad again, so as if you put your ridge markers out, and they come out, and they stop tramlining. And then if you, right, what I do here is I go round the, round the headland once more to, well, just make sure there's plenty of room for you to, well, so you've done basically drill your tram lines again. So you don't drill over them. So we'll go round here once more. So basically you go round the field three times to put these tram lines in. You might find a better way to put them in, but this is, this is the way I prefer like this suits me so we'll go around once more here trying tidying up the corners as we go along ready for our our middle belt well runs belts whatever you call them and um yeah at least you'll know now for your own for your own um maps or multiplayer servers which a lot of people are running tram lines on so like we'll tidy up our corners now it's not a very realistic driving over a wave or just drill, but for the video, what what else? Yeah, it'll work for the video. And what I will do, we'll drill this now. The video's getting, well, it's up to seven minutes long now, so what we'll do, we'll, I'll just do this, show you the tram, then what I'll do, I'll go get a sprayer so you can see how it lines up with the, the grass verge, so you can sort of see there will be a slight overhang on the grass verge so really this is adding so nine the first belt ran with nine meters second belt ran with another nine meters and then the the third belt then which we're on now is making a 27 well yeah 27 meters from the edge of the field here to where the drill has just come past there so that and then so a 27 meter sprayer will cover that amount of ground so we'll finish up this belt here and then we'll start our middle tram lines. But you think on a map like this, looking over in a distance, if they, all these fields are tram lines, it, it will look very realistic and it will be, it's a nice map for it. And if you want any more tutorial videos or just want me to show you my way of doing stuff, just let me know in the comments down below. But like this tutorial video, I think it's a lot of people who'd want to do tram lines. So this is for you guys. See, so right now we've been round the field three times there, haven't we? So now what we're going to do, we're going to do our straight up and downs. So I've been round the head and three times. So that means there's nine meters from here to here. So that'd come out to your first straight as well. It's like there's nine meters from here. I know I've got a bit of overlap, but it's nine meters from there to there. So we'll... That'll equal 18 meters. So that's 18 meters from there to there. So what we want to do now, we want to do another, well, this belt now. Then what we'll do, we will add, so basically that, two runs from where your tram line is. And that equal 18 meters in between. So if you think you're going up the tram line with your sprayer, you'd be 27 meters. So you'd have 13 and a, half meters one side and another 13 off the other side so you work out shall see so we'll add another tram line in here then that will work out that should make a halfway between this tram line and that when you spray it now your boom should reach to about here and then 
it lines up perfectly. So then what we'll do now, we'll, when we, once we've done this run, adding a tram line, we'll go up, up and down two more times without tram lines, then we'll add another tram line, if you, if you, if you get where I'm coming from. And you'll add another tram line again after this. Yeah, so you leave two belts after this, and then you'll add another tram line. So I'll just show you uh, for an example. Then lift up the disc on the back, and then we won't tram line here for, for two passes. And yeah, that works out. These are 28 meter, well, 27 meter tram lines, but the sprays you can get are 28 meter, but that doesn't really matter. It's only a meter each side overhang. Well, no, it'd only be meter overhang split between both sides. So see this a gap there again. That's eight meters. So that's a spread of width for there now. Uh, spray of width up that tram line. Tram line. So now we'll go up this one. So that's two passes between that tram line and this tram line. And now the next run after this, we will add another tram line. And so on, so on. Again, this field, this isn't a very big field, so you wouldn't have many tram lines in it. So what we'll do now, we will add, we'll pull up here, get lined up. Then it's basically just the buttons you use to put your, your ridge markers out. And see, another tram line. So they do work out very well, and it's it's very realistic way of doing of playing FS with the tram lines. These are what the real life farmers would use. Right, what's this video going up to now? 12 minutes, I think we'll do this. Um, you want to make sure you turn your drill off, like I nearly forgot there, and that's your next tram line. I think if we go up here now, we may as well finish this field, then grab the sprayer. And I'll just show you then how the sprayer works. Dun, 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 dun. And then we, uh, yeah, well, if, if you want to see any more tutorials like this on how to do stuff or just normal videos, just let me know. Yeah, but see here, there's this little bit of a miss, but that works out about right because your sprayer is going to be wider than your tram lines anyway. So that little bit there doesn't really matter. Like this has worked out very well, perfect actually. So look, look at the size difference in them gaps. They're pretty much the the same. This end one may be a bit wider. I may have messed up, but that's all because I was concentrating on trying to do this video. So we'll jump out of that one. I think we'll let's just sell that one. Let's just quickly buy another tractor. Let's get a 724. Uh, grab a sprayer. So we will go to... My go-to sprayer is the this one. John Deere. So we'll 28 meters. And we'll add a bit of liquid fur. And we'll... Show you real quick on tram lines hopefully this will up we're up to 13 well, 14 minutes of this video I'm these are my first few videos I'm just sampling to see how long I actually won them and if I've been babbling on just let, let me know and I'll shut up next time a little bit so let's just go show you I know I'm not driving very realistically but this is a tutorial video I, I'm not sure why the number plates are blue I really don't know why the number plate on that spray is blue. And let's just get into this field again. And yeah, th this map is Thornton Farm, but this is probably one of my favourite. It's been on the last few FSs, and it is a very nice map. Very realistic. Very well planned out. Right, let's just swoop in here. Unfold the sprayer. There may be actually a bit... Oh, it turns off and I haven't changed the settings. There may be a bit too much of an overhang here. 
Yes. Well, yeah, there's a bit too much overhang here. But that was just a tutorial just to show you how to to do it for yourself. So we'll go around it once and we'll go up the middle so you can see what I mean. So and now I'll show you what I do on this corner. What a lot of people do you do it on their corners. Some people don't if they're lazy, but like me, I just go around there and don't bother doing this. But a lot of people will go up here like that straight and then they will reverse up i know we'd be crushing crop yeah but they just do this basically and not miss as much as me but for the purpose of this video you can get the just to it so we'll just go down this run do the next head then and i'll just show you and then you're spraying it's very slow on this game i think i may uh, should have added another tram line in there I, yeah, I think I was meant to add another tram line. Yeah, so this bit of the field is ruined, but the rest of the field should be all right. I was meant to add another tram line, but this is my first tutorial video, so I, I'm sure you'll be able to forgive me. And we'll just go... Yeah, we'll do a fair headline. I'll show you a belt up the middle, how it works. And then we'll... Yeah. We'll see you again next time, once we finish this little tutorial. And I do, I do feel like I'm, well, I do feel very silly talking to Mike. I think it's all things you just got to get guys, guys have used to. And I'm not, well, my girlfriend's not here at the moment. She didn't work, so what better time to <laughs> act like a tit and then she's not here. And I, once I get used to it more and more, I become more and more comfortable with doing the the voiceovers and the talking through my my videos. I see here. I'm not thinking the tram lines very well, but we're we're just trying to get on. Right now, we should be able to go down this one and not miss any. That's if I haven't put this tram line in the wrong place. But you get it. Yes, they they they're pretty. They they're very nice there. They, yeah, well yeah, this spray head is twenty eight meters. The tram lines are twenty seven meters apart, so we have got a little bit of overhang. And you probably remember when I was drilling, I was overlapping a little bit. But you shouldn't miss anything here, hopefully. If I haven't cocked up. I'm gonna go up here. I'll just do this last one. Oop. Yeah, not very really, good. Yeah, see, I should have added another tram line in there, which I completely forgot. But you get the gist of it. That was pretty good. 20 centimetres apart. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, if you ask me. Makes, makes your place style vet a lot more realistic. So we'll just finish this, and then I'll, I'll back and I'll show you what mod you want to use. And that's tram line to you. So let's just quickly back out. Oh, it's going to auto save a test world map. Let's quit and I'll show you which drill mod it is. And what's this video on? Ooh, 20 minutes. This is going to take a while to. Right, let's go to the mod hub. That's if you load the hub. I actually don't know why it's loading right here. Board, you're just gone. Right, so if we. Right, I'm, I know they're not loading very quick, but I'll just get to the drill. And you'll be able to see Horse Pronto, I think is this one. 9 meter Horse Pronto. Let's just wait for the picture to load. And I, I could put a link in there in the description for you, for your PC players. Well, or. Oh, any player really it'll be loading now i'm uploading another video so it's a bit slow going yeah so see this one nine meter working width and this is the one that has the automatic tram lines on it this is a horse pronto dc and i'll well as you can see there you know which one it is because you'll see that picture so that's that tutorial done for today and i'll see you in the next one goodbye